What's up guys, David here from PhoneBluff.com. In this video, we're doing a speed comparison test between the HTC One S here on the left against the Samsung Galaxy S3 here on the right. So we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, first test will be the boot up test. Obviously I have both of you guys turned off. I'm just gonna press and hold the power button at the same time. So one, two, three. I'm gonna hold it for about three seconds and then let go. All right, so that should be good enough. And I uh, will go ahead and let these guys boot up, see which one actually turns on first. While they're loading up, I'll let you guys know that they're both actually running on the same Wi-Fi network. And also the browsing history and cache has been cleared out on both browsers. So it'll be nice and even uh, in the browsing speed test. Also, I'm gonna be loading up a couple of applications to see you know, which one loads up first, just to give you a general idea as far as the experience you'll receive from each device. It's worth noting that both these guys actually had the same processor. So you can see the Galaxy S3 actually finished up first. Main difference between the hardware is they're running both uh, the same processor, which is the Snapdragon S4, but this guy only has one gigabyte of RAM compared to two gigabytes found on the Galaxy S3. So you can see the boot up test, uh, obviously the Galaxy S3 won. You know, it's been done for quite some time now and you know, I've been able to get into the phone and load things around. The HC One S is still doing its thing. There you go, it looks like it's almost done. There you go, let's go ahead and unlock this guy. Now you can see it's still loading up HTC Sense. So it gives you a little bit of an idea as far as the boot up time goes. But let's go ahead and start the application load speed test. So we'll go ahead and load up for the first application, we'll do score center. I'm just gonna wait a couple of seconds because I wanna make sure that this guy actually finishes up uh, loading everything. So, all right, that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and start up score center. So one, two, three. And there you go, you can see that the Galaxy S3 loaded it up followed by the HTC One S. And there you go. So we'll go ahead and hit home. Now I'm not gonna close these guys out of the background because I really wanna show you, you know, the hardware difference here. They're both running Android, so no need to close them out in the background. And uh, I mean, honestly, most of the time we're not closing our apps, you know, all the time anyway. So really wanna show you the experience you'll uh, receive from both phones. And obviously this one's gonna have an edge with an extra gig of RAM. Let's go ahead and open up Flickster. So one, two, three. And again, you can see the splash screen first on the Galaxy S3, so that one's pretty close, but obviously this guy was maybe a second ahead of the One S, so we'll go ahead and back out. So, so far the Galaxy S3 is winning in the app speed test. Let's go ahead and load up another one. Let's load up Temple Run. So one, two, three. And there you go, you can see it's just maybe a second ahead of the HTC One S, so Really, I mean, not that big of a difference here. So let's go ahead and close these guys out, or should I say minimize these guys. Um, let's go ahead and try another application. We'll do uh, we'll do Google Earth, or actually let's do, yeah, let's do Google Earth. So let me find Google Earth. I think I made a shortcut for it here. Yeah, Google Earth and Google Earth. So we'll go ahead and tap on it at the same time. One, two, three. And again, you can see pretty much the difference seems to be a second. Not sure if that has to do with the RAM difference or more or less maybe just Samsung's optimizations. Um, pretty much the same thing. Let's go ahead and zoom in on Las Vegas. So type in Las Vegas really quick. Las Vegas. Basically, I just wanna you know kind of zoom in on the city just to show you, you know, how smooth each one is. So we'll go ahead and double tap on here, double tap, double tap again. All right, and same thing here. Double tap, double tap. You know what, actually, let's look at the same hotel and make it a little bit easier. Let's look at the stratosphere on both. So let's zoom out a little. Where is it? Stratosphere, stratosphere, there it is. All right, so this guy's loaded it up. You can see the new Google Earth uh, here too, but I just wanna zoom in and zoom out. So while that one is loading, or I don't even think it registered, but I'm gonna go ahead and push this guy out of the way and quickly zoom in and zoom out. I just kind of sh show you, you know, how smooth or, you know, uh, laggy it is. So you can see there is a little bit of choppiness uh, with this phone. Um, I'm trying to, you know, zoom in and moving around is kind of choppy, but isn't all that bad. We'll go ahead and do a 3D spin of the stratosphere. And uh, you can see, I mean, it's, it's not bad, but it is pretty choppy, I'd have to say. Let's go ahead and show the Galaxy S3 now. So for some reason, it just didn't register that I wanted the stratosphere. So let's try that again. All right, so I went ahead and typed in the stratosphere because for some reason, this little thing wasn't working. So anyway, we'll go ahead and zoom in on it. 
and uh, we'll do the same uh, sort of test, basically zooming in. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this one's a lot uh, smoother than it was on the HTC One S. Let's go ahead and try the uh, same test as far as uh, doing the little 360 view. So I'm gonna try to get it in the same angle as that earlier. So 360 view, not obviously the smoothest, but it is smoother than the One S. Um, I really do feel that way. You know, zooming in and out seems to be a little bit faster. Panning around seems to be a little bit better. I mean, not that big of a difference. Let's go ahead and show you this one more time. So actually, let's do it both at the same time so you guys can see. Come on. All right, so you guys can see, I mean, it's not really responding to my uh, multi-touch. I mean, I'm trying to pinch the zoom and it's really uh, skipping on me where on this guy, you know, it's still skipping, but just not as much. So, I mean, just take that for what it's worth. Anyway, we'll go ahead and back out of here. Now let's go and do the uh, browser test. Actually, no, I'm gonna do a quick quadrant standard and uh, on both phones so that way you guys can see the scores on both. And I am gonna actually close out the applications here. So I'm just gonna hit remove all. I'm just gonna do it this way. I know that sometimes it doesn't close out all the applications, but should be good enough. I mean, we did the same on both phones. So let's go ahead and load up quadrant standard. Quadrant standard. And I'll run the benchmark. And I'll just uh, fast forward through the uh, actual process. That way you guys can get right to the score. All right, so both of these guys are done. Let's go ahead and hit yes on both. And I will show you the score on the HC One S. So this time I got a 44.20, and uh, on the Galaxy S3 I got a, whoops, got a 48.93. So on both devices I didn't really get as high of a score as I usually do, but um, Galaxy S3 is higher, and you know typically I've, I am getting higher scores on the Galaxy S3. So that's that, and uh, seems to you know pretty much go in line with the performance that we've gotten. Thus far, let's go ahead and start the browser test. So we'll load up both browsers, and uh, let's load up a couple of sites. So actually, gotta forgot I loaded this really quick. So I'll go ahead and clear out the history really quick on this guy. All right, so let's go ahead and load up phonebuff.com on both phones. All right, so I'll hit go at the same time. So one, two, three. And remember, they're both running on the same Wi-Fi network, so we should, you know, see a nice even test here. Looks like so far the Galaxy, oh, there you go. So that one looked like they finished up about the same time. Um, it looked like the Galaxy S3 was ahead first, and then all of a sudden the HC One has caught up. Let's go ahead and try another site because that one was too close to call. Um, actually, I'm just going to load up an article really quick over here. So let's just load up this, uh, we'll do this ESPN article that I did a while ago. So... Tap it at the same time. So one, two, three. So the content, there you go, it's done. So this time the Galaxy S3 won. It looked like the uh, HC One S was actually showing the content a little bit before the Galaxy S3 was, but the Galaxy S3, you know, catches up and then actually beats it. Let's go to another site, which is NFL.com. Basically my favorite, or my second favorite website. So NFL dot com what am i doing there you go nfl.com and nfl.com so one two three load it up just a little bit faster on the galaxy s3 let's go to the bottom and load up the desktop version so one two three And again, the Galaxy S3 is done, and now the HTC One S is done. So as you guys can see, the Galaxy S3 seems to be about just a second or two faster. It's not that big of a difference, but um, keep in mind that this guy does have an extra gigabyte of RAM. So when you have all these apps up or open in the background, it's definitely gonna make a difference uh, in those situations. And you know, if I were to open up a whole bunch of apps on both phones, I'm sure that the Galaxy S3 would actually you know, load up, up the next app a little bit faster than would the HC One S, but either way, you're gonna get a nice, you know, fast performing phone. Um, honestly, I feel like Samsung's UI is a little bit faster than HTC, but I like HTC's looks a little bit better. So it really, you know, comes down to personal preference. But anyway, that's it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.